folks, Rob Dremeyer here. Welcome to Broadway Barfly. If you're a theater fan who loves a great cocktail, click that subscribe button because Broadway Barfly is the channel for you. In the previous video, we talked about Hello Dolly and we made a rum toddy. And I mentioned that rum was a part of the slave trade. I wanted to elaborate on that comment because there's some interesting history to that. It's shameful history to be sure. But it is interesting, and there's also a musical theater reference uh, that helps to illustrate that. Rum was actually a part of what was known as the triangle trade. And in its most basic form, what the triangle trade was, was when sugar, or the molasses that was made from sugar, was shipped to distilleries, where it was made into rum, which was then shipped to West Africa, where it was used to barter for the human beings who would then be shipped back to the colonies and sold into slavery to work on the plantations that grew the sugar. And those were the three points of the triangle trade. The musical that describes this is 1776. It's a musical about the events leading up to the signing of the Declaration of Independence. And while there are some artistic liberties taken in the musical, the basic history that it depicts is accurate. In the original draft of the Declaration of Independence, there was a clause that condemned slavery. And this posed a problem at the time because they needed for all 13 colonies to sign the Declaration in order to ratify it. But the Southern colonies wouldn't do so as long as the clause that condemned slavery was included. And the way the show plays this out is by having the character Edward Rutledge, who was the delegate to the Continental Congress from South Carolina, address the Congress by not only voicing his opposition to the clause, but also calling out the hypocrisy of the North, because he knows that even though they are not slave owners, they still profit from the slave trade. He, he describes all of this in a very dramatic song called Molasses to Rum to Slaves. In one of the lines of the song, he asks, who sails the ships out of Boston? And in the very last line, he directs it straight to John Adams, who was a driving force behind independence and also the delegate from Massachusetts. He says, Mr. Adams, I give you a toast. Hail Boston, hail Charleston, who stinketh the most? And of course, our founding fathers had to make an enormous compromise in order to get the Southern colonies to sign the declaration they did in fact strike that clause from the draft. And as we know from history, it took nearly a century and a civil war to finally abolish slavery in this country. So the next time you are making yourself a rum toddy or enjoying a daiquiri or maybe a pina colada, when you lift the glass, take a moment to remember not only how far this country has come, but also how far we have to go. If you enjoyed the video, why not give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends? Feel free to leave your comments and click that subscribe button because there's a lot more Broadway Barfly to come.